phi, which is the potential, is also this function in front of the, of the dt squared. We know how to compute the Riemann curvature given the connection curvature. Now, what is the relationship between the connection and the metric? We know that the Riemann is, connect is related to the connection in this way. Each Riemann has this structure. If you sum the Riemanns, you get this. I'll give you another example also of where a connection is a derivative of a metric. Okay, so that in, when we have a connection and we know where it comes from, that it comes from a metric. Um, we can actually do that now. Then I'll go back. We know how the tidal force, tidal acceleration, comes from the gravitational acceleration. How? We found a prime plus one over r a plus one over r a, for example, or or actually um, the derivative of a gave us one element of the tidal acceleration. The product of a times one over r gave us another element of the tidal acceleration. When we're talking about the vacuum outside a spherically symmetric source, right? So we know how to compute the tidal acceleration given the gravitational acceleration. Okay, it definitely derives from it. We know how to compute the gravitational acceleration given the potential. Okay, on this side, we know how to compute the Riemann curvature given the connection curvature. Remember, we said that um, you had a structure like this. The sum of the Riemanns was called Ricci, and it was a derivative of a connection plus 1 over r times a connection. Okay? And remember I told you that each Riemann actually has this structure. In the simple case that we chose, this was one of the Riemanns, this was another Riemann, and the third Riemann was like this, and we added the three of them together. In the more general case, each Riemann will have this kind of structure. Each Riemann will have a gamma prime and a gamma times 1 over r and a gamma times 1 over r. Okay? And the Ricci will sum all of those. And you'll see an example in a minute. Okay? Now, what is the relationship between the connection and the metric? We know that the Riemann is, connect is related to the connection in this way. Each Riemann has this structure. If you sum the Riemanns, you get this. We know that there's a connection, but how how do you get the connection given the metric? Okay, again, you have these three levels. How do you get the connection given the metric? The answer is given us by this formula. A is equal to minus grad phi. This is the connection. This is the metric. So in other words, basically, the connection is something like the derivative of the metric. Okay, if we take this analogy of gravity seriously, we'll say that we'll expect naively, at least in this simple case of vacuum outside spherical symmetry, the equivalent of this gravity equation in flat space, a is equal to grad phi, will be the space-time equivalent of a, which is gamma, the connection, equals the gradient or derivative of the space-time equivalent of the potential, which is g prime. Okay? Now we can substitute in this equation of gamma prime plus 1 over r gamma. Now that we know that the gammas are g primes, we can already substitute in here. We have g prime substituted in here becomes g double prime. G prime substituted in here becomes 1 over r times g. 